Hi everybody. The internet is abuzz with the news about new findings in the Great Pyramid on Egypt's Giza Plateau. It has been reported that strange markings have been found inside what many of the news reports have been calling a secret tunnel. True to form, the news media is either hyperbolizing, hyperbolizing or they just plain got the facts wrong. The tunnel is not or has not been a secret for a number of years. The secret has been what is in the tunnel and where it leads. There is, however, a mystery involved here. The mystery involves some strange hieroglyphic type markings found inside the tunnel. They are done in red paint and are found on the floor of the tunnel and on the walls. Not accessible to the human frame as yet, the tunnel was explored by a robot rover with a camera mounted on it. Using the remote controlled robot, the archaeologists were able to determine the tunnel runs for some distance and ends at what appears to be another door. It is one of four known secret tunnels that lead from the King's Chamber and the Queen's Chamber. The purpose of the tunnel is not known. The first big story in this event is that the hieroglyphic type markings are yet to be understood. It does seem quite odd that these markings were found in a pyramid that the Egyptologists claim was built by Pharaoh Khufu, an Egyptian, and they can read the hieroglyphics found from his time, yet they cannot decode these hieroglyphics from inside the very pyramid they say he built. These are symbols that do not apparently fit with the system of writing known to Egyptologists as hieroglyphics. This would seem to raise the possibility that while these markings are a language, they are not Egyptian. Since the tomb of Osiris was found in a secret underground tomb just a few yards from the Great Pyramid, the spot marked by the star Deneb in the Cygnus constellation, it is possible the Great Pyramid was built by the Osiris clan but not by Khufu. If so, is it possible that the myths about Osiris and his family, Ra, Isis, Thoth, Set, not being from this planet, are true? Perhaps those hieroglyphic type markings are in the language of Osiris. The second great mystery in this event is that it comes on the heels of finding the tomb of Osiris in 2010 and the discovery by NASA science satellites of a massive collection of buried pyramids on the Giza Plateau. When the tomb of Osiris was found, several very odd measures were undertaken almost immediately. Dr. Zahi Hawass, Minister of Antiquities, ordered that a wall be constructed around the pyramid complex. This was an ostensibly to protect the pyramids from being damaged by the public. It has been reported on various internet sites that the U.S. military was there securing the pyramid complex along with Egyptian military. And then there is the question of the NASA satellite imaging of the Giza Plateau. Why? It has been done before. We already had pictures from space of the pyramids. Why now? Why a NASA satellite? When you line up the discoveries and events, a very interesting picture begins to um, emerge. Tomb of Osiris found. Sarcophagus of Osiris opened, but no concurrent, concurrent photos of what is inside. Dr. Howis says the sarcophagus was empty. Military called in to secure the site. Order given to build a wall around the pyramid complex. NASA satellite called upon to do high-tech scan of the site. 17 additional pyramids located in the satellite scan. Hieroglyphic type markings found in pyramid. That hieroglyph 
experts can't read yet. Certainly this line of events gives the appearance that something big, very big, has been discovered at the Giza Plateau. Not only is it something big, it is something of military importance. Not only is it of military importance, it is very secret. The line of events listed above is not theoretical nor speculative. Those are genuine events. Yet the internet is filled with speculation about what has been discovered. One third theory being touted is that they have found a stargate. Maybe, maybe not. Critics of the UFO community tend to ridicule all speculation. But when all the facts are not on the table, then all speculation is valid. In fact, it is inevitable. Oh, by the way, the name of the robot that took the photo above is the Jedi, Jedi, and the team working with it is the Jedi team. The Jedi is the name of an ancient Egyptian magician in the days of Khufu. The D and the J are pronounced together, making the pronunciation of the word to be Jedi. Do you remember the Jedi Knights of the Star Wars fame, right? One thing seems to be certain, something very big is going on at Giza. Very interesting article. I'll post a link to the website below. This is Anne from Canada One. Thank you for watching.